What a huge sporting event it is here in Lagos at the Teslin Balogo Stadium, Molade Hall, Sporting Event Hall to be precisely, where Lagos State, in conjunction with the Lagos Sport Commission, uh, is actually hosting the third edition of the International Badminton Classic. Let's take a look at what this event is all about and what people as well had to say about this event. Well, you've been in there and you've seen the ambience, you've seen the whole setting. I mean, there's so much excitement and uh, like you said, it's the third edition and uh, what we set out to do, what we wanted to achieve with this edition was to improve on the last two. And uh, even though the entries, the number of countries that entered for this year is not as much as those of the last edition, I mean, you can see that we are going to deliver a, a top class event. Well, we just came back from a West African circuit where we won in uh, uh, Côte d'Ivoire international and we also won in Benin Republic International. Those two internationals were meant to serve as a kind of build up to prepare our players for this. And most of the players they played there, apart from a few that came from Portugal, Italy and Israel, most of the players that are here are people they also met there. So they are, they are really going to get a stiff opposition from Sri Lanka, India, Portugal and Israel. And the, the top seed this year was the winner in 2014, that's the Israeli, he's 48, ranked number 48 in the world. And in the last edition in 2015, he was beaten by a Nigerian in the round of 15. So if we could be if we could be beaten then, he can be beaten again. But there's always room for improvement. But I can tell you that it's a, it's a huge improvement compared with what we did the last edition because of the change in venue and location. The last two editions we had at Row Park. Here we have a better ambience, the hall is finer, we have more capacity to seat spectators. So our target now is to fill up that hall on the day of the final. Okay, right now we will be speaking with um, Alaji Umakolo, I beg your pardon if I get that correctly. He's actually the chairman of Ninja State Badminton Association. He's glad to meet with you, he's glad to speak with you, coming to witness this international badminton classic here in Lagos State. Tell us what we, you are expecting, what are your expectations in this competition? A lot of good things are happening in badminton in Nigeria today with the coming of the new president of the Badminton Association because of the passion and love the man has for the game. And that is why uh, just about a month ago, he took over as the president of the association. We have seen a lot of goodies coming for the badminton. This is his second tournament. He's hosting in less than a month, in less than two months. So it's wonderful. We are expecting so much more goodies for the association. Okay. Honestly, uh, the best way to describe the arrangement so far is near perfect, almost perfect. Wonderful arrangement, beautiful arrangement, wonderful people, friendly people, lovely officiating. This is what encourages uh, uh, tournaments. I'm a person who is a firm believer in quality, not quantity. Honestly, with the quality of people I see here, with the quality of players I see here, it's a wonderful tournament. Nigerian players are getting what they deserve now. That is that motivation. They are getting all the motivation they need from the new executive of the uh, Federation. So I believe Sky is going to be their limit. And I'm assuring you, you are going to see wonderful performance from the Nigerian athletes. At this point in time, we are going to be speaking to Anu. Anu Atwal is one of Nigerian um, athletes who will be participating in this competition. He's gone through one of the qualifier, of which he has killed through as he looks forward for another round of the qualifier. He's glad to meet with you, Anu. Tell us... Um, what was the qualifying game? What was it? What does it look like to you? Uh, well, um, to me, it looks like a, a startup match um, for a player to enter the main chat. So, um, it's just um, a game that you just need to play so that you just qualify to the main chat and meet the seeded, seeded um, players. Uh, yes, um, I'm, I'm, I'm even playing in Nigeria, so I know we know each other, so we, uh, we, just, we just play our normal game, then we let the game decide. 
Yeah, I'm looking. Um, um, me, I'm looking forward to go to the finals. So, um, uh, you should be expecting a gold or silver or bronze at us. Right now, we want to speak to um, Asogwa Bogwe, actually from Benin Republic. He actually he got defeated in the men's singles today in the qualifying, but he's looking forward to see how he will do better in the men's double qualifier later on today. Let's get to hear from him. Um, from uh, play today, uh, men's singles players from Benin, uh, BTO, from uh, Olufua Godwin from Nigeria. Because uh, um, I'm learning to, to uh, come home, I learned to big, uh, big, big boy to play it for this meeting. Godwin played since uh, 2019, play uh, before you. So God will power for you because I beat you every, every day. I beat you today. Right. Uh, so, yes, play me, uh, me Miss Doubles uh, to, um, uh, uh, pardon, uh, uh, tomorrow and uh, after tomorrow. And I'll uh, play to, uh, from uh, Ghana. Yes, Miss Doubles from Ghana. Uh, because uh, Abraham, Abraham Aite. Hello, sorry, Abraham Aite and uh, uh, Atipaka and uh, your name from players from Ghana. Yes. Of course, you did hear what people have actually talked about this um, competition, the badminton classic competition here in Teslim Balogo Stadium, especially the newly elected president of the Nigerian Badminton Federation, Francis Orbit, speaking to us about what this um, um, classic will entail. Let's see if that will actually pan out in subsequent days of this competition. I am Francis Kangobudu reporting for DBN Sports.